Welcome to Associated University's video seminar on lift truck utilization. My name is Carl Nunn. I'm a fleet analyst manager at Associated. I've got 30 years in the industry as a technician, retail, and national service manager for two manufacturers. Our subject today starts off with lift truck usage. And what's the definition? Lift truck usage is typically defined as the number of hours a truck is actively retrieving or storing loads and is measured through the, an operator sensing device called a dead man hour meter reading. Some trucks do not have hour meters or they are not functioning, which preclude us from getting this usage, but uh, most trucks accommodate our needs. Lift truck utilization, on the other hand, is represented as a percentage and is typically defined as the usage hours as we previously defined divided by the hours the operation is open for business. And you can see the formula below showing the usage divided by hours of operation times 100% to convert the uh, decimal into a percentage. So why is it important to gather usage and utilization information on your fleet? It allows companies to optimize the return on their existing investments. You can review how you're using your equipment, your facility using these metrics and determine if you can balance the workload across the lift trucks more or if you may have too little or too many trucks to perform the work you're assigning to them. You also can minimize equipment, labor, maintenance, and energy as well as insurance expenses by adjusting your fleet size to your needs. Some of the benchmarks with usage are dead man hours per day to see whether or not you're running at two or four, maybe six hours a day, helps you understand how your usage of the equipment changes over time. Some of the benchmarks include identifying the hours used in lifting versus the hours used in travel. Those two metrics, lift and travel, are known as movement hours. And if you look at movement to dead man hours, or the hours the operator is on the truck, you can actually see idle time. Hours per day vary by model, type, and application, but just to give you an idea, national average is two to four hours per day. We find production environments tend to be lower, distribution and docks tend to be higher, and order picking assignments tend to be lower as well. The objective is to capture your current state at your facility and manage toward continuous improvement. In an attempt to give you an idea of what we're finding with various clients, in the marketplace. Some hourly averages by model include the following. Counterbalance trucks two to four hours a day. Walkie low and high lifts one to two hours a day. And they would include the four battery pack pallet trucks and the walk behind stackers, whether they're reach, counterbalance, or straddle. Pallet riders three to four hours a day. Reach trucks two to three hours a day. Order pickers one to two hours a day. And turn trucks two to three hours a day. Now you might be wondering, I normally have an, an eight hour shift, why are my hours so low? The reality is in 99% of the customers we experience in a single shift application, these are the averages that they mostly fall into. Warehouse and distribution uh, is a little bit higher. We're four to six hours a day, one to three hours a day for the walkie and high lifts. Pallet riders are five to seven hours. Reach trucks four to six, order pickers three to four, and turrets four to six. So again, if you're in warehouse and distribution, you compare your numbers to these averages. Opportunities for your improvement. Evaluate the equipment within the same model group to identify units with more than 20% variance in annual hours of utilization. That suggests an imbalance of the workload within that family of trucks. And you might want to redistribute the workload to balance the usage across that fleet. You can also evaluate lower performing units functions to see why they're less selected by the operators to run. You can evaluate the top performers best practices to see why those trucks are regularly requested by the operators. Lockout and tag out low utilized units to confirm viability of continued use. If you've got trucks working in the 40 to 60 percent utilization range, but there are a few trucks at 10%, you might want to pick a week where those trucks are locked out and tagged out 
and unavailable to the operators and determine if the workflow and process still goes on. If so, you can eliminate those from your SM programs, PM programs, full maintenance programs, and actually assess your staffing levels and maybe redirect some personnel to other more profitable activities. About Associated University, providing you with education and information to keep your supply chain running smoothly. Associated University was designed to provide supply chain management professionals with access to information on practical solutions concerning the industry's current hot topics. With live, frequently held educational sessions hosted by supply chain thought leaders, this resource creates an interactive community that enables professionals to gain access to the information covering today's most relevant supply chain management challenges and technologies. In addition to these sessions, Associated University offers tools, articles, and discussions aimed at providing you with a vast library of resources to use. To learn more about Associated University and Associated's other solutions, visit our website at www.associated-solutions.com. Thank you very much for attending this video webinar, and please uh, feel free to check out our other video webinars on the, on the subject matter.